All right, guys, you know, I talked about this earlier. Um, part one, I'm going to try to put part two into this. I'm going to try to parlay part two into what I talked about by part one, about fathers and why fathers need it. Um, there's a couple of things around about this. I'm going to work into it, but you'll feel me. You know how I am. This is DJ Wolf, and this is DJ Wolf Live. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm uh I'm gonna get right down to brass tax. You know, I've been living out here in the DMV for over 32 years. Alright? That's real talk. And you know, I and I was in the military for, for a number of years. And People I know over the 30 years have really changed. And not necessarily for the better. All right. During the heyday when I was I was living at home with my parents, my father, and my mom, people would be courteous, speak to you, hey, how you doing? Even if they didn't know you. People had that way, and we had that way about that with each other. I think this has been lost in the sauce over the last three, four decades. I'm, I'm being very serious. People aren't like that anymore. It's really sad. It makes me sad thinking about it right now. Because there was a time when it used to be about that. When we used to be about our brother's keeper and meant it. It's not like that anymore. It not been like that for a very long time. I don't see people even trying to be that way anymore, to be honest. And for lack of a better... Uh, language about this some people will be on some whole ass shit straight up and it irks me to a point where I don't want to be bothered with some people sometimes I'm being very serious about that it's not that I hate people it's not that I don't like, like being around people but it's just to a point where you some people just be feeling themselves so much that they don't give a damn about or, or give a, about anybody's feelings but their own it's just self-centered and selfish you know and, and, and they act that way. They show it. They show their ass on you every time. Without any cause or concern. They just do it. You know? And you wonder why. And I have to say it. It's the truth. I know some of y'all don't want to hear. Y'all want to hear us talk about oh, well, what white people have been doing for four years. But by the same token. By the same token. That's what I was earlier today. By the same token, uh, we have to be honest about our own selves and our own situations and how we treat each other. We have to. You can't go out talking about Black Lives Matter and then we do each other like dirt. You can't talk about the two things and say it's the same. It's not. And we aren't even like that with each other half the time. Don't talk about brother, my brother, my sister, and all that, and you ain't about the business of being just that. Sometimes I'd rather not hear you call me anything if you want to do that. Be about who you really, about who you really feel, about how you really feel. You know, if you're about being about uh, us being together and fighting uh, 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 this thing called racism, then let's always be about this thing that we fight called racism and not be biased towards each other as a community or race. I'm saying that for me. It ain't about no uh, being conscious because you talk about us, you talk about us, what about the white people? Fuck the bullshit about, the, about, about, about that for a moment. Because we can't sit there and constantly preach about how bad white folks are when we treating our own selves like shit. Because there are times when we do. And you have to recognize that 800 pound in the elephant in the room, not when you're talking to white people about race, but when you're talking to each other about each other in our own place. In our own communities, we have to address the same 800 pound elephant in the room when it comes to our own personal issues on each other. Okay? So many broken homes out here, man. No, we want to mask that and say it's racism. Now, on some respects, it does play a role. On most, it don't. Okay? That ain't got nothing to do with racism for the most part. It really don't. 
Y'all might want to mask it and say it's that, but it ain't got a damn thing to do with it, period. You know? But you'll say anything to ignore a situation that you're involved when it involves something that you're in trouble with. A lot of us tend to do that. A lot of us tend to try to mask one thing over the other and ignore it. You know? Or try to divert the attention of one subject to another. I personally know people like that. And it's bullshit. Okay? Y'all can't keep playing them games like this, man. We can't keep playing them games with each other like this. It's old. It's tired. And it's absolutely biased as hell and wrong as fuck. And I know some of y'all say, he be cussed, but yeah, you're right. My intention is not to just be cussing for the sake of cussing. My intention is because, uh, really, because I'm trying to emphasize how I feel. Sometimes it's hard to emphasize how I feel when, I, when I'm just saying regular words. Because I don't think people get my point. You know? In other times, I'll be on it. When it comes to me saying, you know, whatever. That's how I feel. <laughs> you know, some, some people say, oh, you don't talk like that at church? I don't talk like the church at all. And I try not to talk like that at work for the most part. You know, they help. Unless you really piss me off. Like, I don't, I almost rare I do that. But what I'm saying is that we got to practice what we preach, people. And I know some of you are, well, why don't you tell them that? No, I'm telling y'all that. Okay? Some of us haven't had the opportunity to have the luxury to have both parents to tell us right from wrong, to balance us off. You know? Somebody was saying earlier, I talked, somebody I talked to, I know, about uh, a couple of women I know. And they were saying, you know, because the fact that they're, that they, they aren't in any serious relationships, and probably they're, the way they are, is because they don't have that balance, you know, and this is especially true with a number, a lot of single mothers who act like, in some cases, not all, because you know I gotta say not all. There are a number of single mothers out here that tend to be off balance, especially if they're a single mother and they got multiple kids. Let's be real, you know, and they act very off balance. I know a few, okay, but. And that balance, that off balance shows with the kids. Part of the reason why it shows with the kids because there's no one to help them balance it out in their family. That's right. A lot of them don't have fathers. A lot of them don't have, they have if they do have fathers, the fathers ain't in life the way it's supposed to be. That's fact. And then you got the mothers around them most of the time. You only learning about one set of prerogative from one perspective of a, of a household instead of the lead being the father who helped keep all of the balance in order. You know, I know it's going to sound a little convoluted, but it's not. Whereas the mother may not have that type of balance. She might look at everything one way. You know, and I've seen that. Okay? I've seen that personally. But you need that balance. Kids need that balance in their life, particularly males, boys, young men need that. Because if they don't, then their thought process is out of whack. I'm gonna give you an example of one. I was at a, a restaurant buoy one time, yeah, many years ago. And this dude, I'm sitting in line. I'm, I, I'll say it was at Chipotle. So I'm standing in line, right? Minding my own business. And it was a long line, too. Minding my own business. It wasn't extremely crowded, but it was crowded enough where I had to wait a few minutes because somebody was ordering a big order or something. So I'm in line, standing there waiting. This guy probably about, he might have been about 20 years old. If that, he may have been in high school. I don't know. He might have been close to my age. I don't know. He might have been about 25, 30. But any case, this nigga, yes, I'm going to call him. Yes, I said it because he was a nigga. He 
kind of like on the phone a little bit. So he kind of start start tapping me, and I say, you know, like a little taps, and then the taps start getting more, you know, a little bit more, you know, frequent. Just a little, not real frequent, but you know, but he just kept doing it. Kept kind of trying to be annoying to me, and I didn't even know the guy. I didn't know him from Adam. He just kept doing it. You know, he's like like a little shrug, you know, a little bit. But it got a little bit more intense. And it got to a point, I just looked at him. The last one, and he stopped. And this is obviously a nigga with no home training. And I hate to use that word, I really do. But in the case of him, that's what he was being. Okay? And it was annoying as hell. Because I didn't know him any. If I knew him, it'd be different. I didn't know this guy. You know? For all I know, he might have been setting me up for me to, to get into a fight with him so he could rob me or something. I don't know. He was, I don't know if he was high or what. But the last time I just I just gave him a stare. Like, do it again. I had another time, I had another guy do, do something similar that year, many years before that. I was in school. And I was about to, about to whoop all his ass. Then one of my class. It did that. And I actually got a guy by the chair about to beat the shit out of him. He chill. I was playing. You don't play them kind of games with no grown ass man. I was actually around 30 when I had when when they did that shit, man. You know? Me, me got a family raised, and I'm only thing I'm thinking about is trying to get through the classes. This was nice school at that. I ain't up there for no game. I, I worked an eight hour shift. And I'm, I'm trying to do another two or three hours of class, you know, to try to elevate myself and my family for a better life. And you acting like a whole ass bitch around me? I ain't got time for this shit. I'm agitated and I had to get home, catch a bus and be home by 11 to get my ass in bed if I'm lucky to get anything to eat. And then be right back on the road by 7 that morning. This nigga doing some whole shit. Luckily for me, I was able to finally complete the course. I mean, the, uh, the school two years I was there, and it did make a difference in my life, and I stuck with it. That's what a man do. That's what a father does for his family. He's gonna stick to his guns on things that he needs to take care of for his family. Now I'm talking about real work, putting in real work like a man supposed to do, not be trying to play little. Love tap games with a with a with a brother who's being a man, and this little nigga act like a little punk ass bitch. You know, I mean, it was on some whole shit, and it annoyed the living shit out of me. It really did. I could not believe. It. I was like, man, you gotta be kidding me. People do stuff like that. People do it out of jealousy. I don't know what he was jealous, jealous about. I know this little shorty tried to hit on me, though. She looked fine, little young guy. That, 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 that man has to do with it. But I wasn't interested in her. We were just friends. That's all we just talked. That's all that. That's as far as it went. No joke. Yeah. But my thing over there is just that you got guys who've been raised by mamas. Who ain't had no fathers in their life and they don't know how to act like men or boys. There is an element of them that are like that. Let's be real. Even the ones who's supposed to be the hardest. But they still act, act, act got their little ways. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They out there doing that too. Playing games. You don't be, be, be playing them kind of games, no grown man. Man, look, man, I don't, I don't feel like you know, look, don't be don't be don't be tapping on my desk. You know, dude, don't be up there hitting on my arm, you know, bang you know, and I'm like, you got to tell him. I ain't want to have to tell a grown man that you need to act like a grown man. If I had to tell a grown man to act like a grown man, he acting like a little kid, there's something wrong with him. Something was wrong with his environment living at home. But I'm being honest. A lot of y'all don't want to hear this, but this is for all to hear, baby, including you. And whoever it applies to. 
Because I know it applies to somebody. Let's be perfectly honest here. Y'all know it do. You know as the old saying goes? Tell the truth and shame the devil. And let the truth sh sh shall set you free from the cycle of bullshit. More on this and other, <laughs> other things that's on my mind <laughs> coming soon on this Father's Day weekend. This is DJ Wolf. I'm out.